Greetings and welcome to Raspberry Pi tutorial series. Today we are going to continue with our tutorial number 9. And what we are going to see is a simple client server application to send some data over the network to the Raspberry Pi which is behind there as you can see the desktop. And let's get started. So we'll make a server for it first. Okay, I make a new file. What just happened? So I'll rename it to server two dot pi since we are using Python, and then we'll open it with Sublime Text. Okay. So first things first, we are going to need some in, import some libraries. So we are going to use first the OS to access the OS. Then from socket library, we'll import star. That is all the libraries, all the functions and uh, objects. Then we are going to give a host name. Host name is the name of the machine. By default, it is. 127.0.0.1 that is localhost and then we are going to give the port port is the address on which our uh, raspberry pi process this server process will work then the buffer buffer is to save some space in the memory so that multiple packets when they come so it does not uh, it does not overrides the old packets before they have been processed and then we are going to give the address address is the host and the port that is our application works on the ip address as well as the port address also known as the socket so we are going to create a new server socket here so server socket equals to socket af underscore Inet, comma, sock underscore datagram. So, what is EF Inet? EF Inet is to uh, is used to link multiple addresses on multiple protocols. And as far as what I know is, it is the safest way to communicate over the network. And now, uh, let's first bind it. Now, what bind means is that. You are going to bind your host address. Okay, uh, you are going to bind your host address with the port uh, port number. So that is our address object here. Okay, then we'll say that now we are waiting for some kind of connection waiting for connections okay now let's wait for connections in an infinite loop so while true now what we'll get here is the data as well as the address from which we are getting so we'll say receive from so server socket dot receive from okay and we'll take the data from the buffer okay, we'll take this data from the buffer now we'll say simply that root whatever we get here so the received received message message that we got message equals to so we are going to say data okay and then we'll say if there is a exit condition that is if we press exit from the client side it should exit the program okay that's done then we'll break okay now uh, it's a good practice that whatever you have initiated should always be closed such that those resources are not uh, used again so we are going to close the uh, server socket 
and we are going to exit the program using OS underscore exit okay so this is for server now and that's it for this tutorial we'll be continuing programming our client in the next tutorial if you like please press the like button if you didn't like please uh, you know where this like is and if you feel it's good enough then you can share uh, thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial